Everybody can't step up here. They know what it is. We're about these bars. We're mm. about to get to some action. You see mm. us. Mm. Let's go. Rock, let's do it. Let's go. Would it be that? Oh, this is oh. what we using? Okay. Oh, oh. Uh. Uh, uh. oh, oh. Lord. Uh. Hold on. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Check it. I'm from the north side where a lot of guys don't walk through much. A couple niggas got indicted. Whole block got bust. I had a problem with these hoes. They whole block got touched. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they thought. Them bitches not just like us. Nothing. I'm from the corner house up the street from the set. When you see me, then you see each. They probably called this from wreck. I know some killers. They got busy. Niggas shoot from the step. We should have called it water plug because niggas definitely got wet. Right. I don't. Fuck with fake hoes, all them bitches scarecrows uh. They never catch me slipping, I'm on point just like an arrow talk, talk. It's Rocky, look at Lil Rocky, none of bitches hero They copy, look at Lil Mommy, all these bitches weirdo uh. Balenciaga mommies, hot top, bitch on wear those nah. A bum bitch, the Lord, dirty block, you bitches zero talk, talk. Huh? What kind of play is you? What? I got to ask you for that shit or you gon' do what you do huh? You know I rap, I need a stack for like a Chanel shoe uh. Another grand to get the tan, nigga, I need two Ow! Huh? And I don't fuck with you hoes I ain't never break my neck to say what's up with you hoes never. And I ain't never show respect to gave it up with you hoes never. If it's not static, then it's static I step to you hoes Uh-huh Huh? Be clear You heard me He step to you hoes Huh? Boo Trey made this beat Yo, GG Them niggas that be trapping, they be selling them looks. Got the shit up out the mud and I ain't chasing no hoes. And the hood niggas be fans, they probably saying them ghosts. I took them losses, caught them cases, probably fucked on their hoes. Niggas be talking like they bitches, gotta keep your mouth closed. Swear to God, I can't lose, I gotta stick to my goals. I just be trapping, gotta stick to the code. Just be trapping, gotta stick to the code. They blew them racks on them clothes, just to impress some hoes. I be rocking the Mary Dior, the latest fashion and clothes. Them BVSs look like fruity pebbles. Boss up, I'm on a different level From the basement, but that condo on a higher level Put up my vibe and I turned up my hustle Had my back against the wall when niggas thought that I fumbled Ran up a court and they still talk and be humble Niggas always showing fear, so when they talk and they mumble I, I got, got a crib with a garage in it So when it, it's hard to spy your shit huh. I got a crib with a garage in it So when they look, it's hard to spy your shit <laughs> Talk that hey, shit with them niggas that be trapping, And they, they be selling, selling them hoes Straight about the mud and I ain't chasing no hoes And the hood niggas be fans They probably they saying, saying I'm ghosts I took them losses, caught them cases They probably, probably fuck, fuck on they hoes Niggas be talking like they bitches Gotta keep them off clothes Swear to God I can't lose I gotta, gotta stick, stick to the cold. I just be rapping, gotta stick to the cold. I just be trapping, gotta stick to the cold. I've been pouring this lean and put me back in that mold I've been snatching all my life, got like a million in clothes Talk that shit, love Yeah, no. so they gonna make me come out of retirement and start spitting again Huh? I mean, give me flashbacks Every time I hear hot record, think about when I used to be writing your shit back in the yeah, day, man Yeah, alright, nigga I'm yeah, talking about, really, I'm talking about really connect me with that moment, man Straight up, man You ain't never write my shit, stop putting that shit out there yeah, like it's that, whatever, man. man But listen, right now, you're now tuned into Me, 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 me Million dollars worth of game Ooh. Yeah Hold on Hold on Hold on. Hold on. We got Ooh. the big dog. We here. Funk Flex in the building. Uh. Ooh. Happy to be here, guys. This is really part. We really hung out already. You know you said a lot of things. You guys did too. <laughs> we all on, did. On, no, 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 don't put that, don't put, put that shit on us. Before we get to Wait, that. No, 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 hold on. You know you said a lot of we shared things. Information. Well, we were debating. No, 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 no. You were debating. <laughs> Me and Wallo was listening. Well, I got some questions for y'all today. I know so, y'all got for me. I got questions. Just, just things I want to know. You know, I want to, so, like, so, I know y'all got a lot of information. I know y'all got a lot of, uh, History. Okay. Well, before we get started. Yes, sir. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. You hear me? Yes, sir. New Amsterdam Vodka was born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. 
This commitment to excellence enabled New Amsterdam to produce vodka of superb taste. Ooh. Premium 80 proof vodka. Ooh. You hear me? It's five times distilled Pow. for unparalleled smoothness. Pow. And it's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Pass. And New Amsterdam vodka is slightly sweet on the palate, smooth to drink on the rocks, and you could you could drink New Amsterdam with anything. You know, you could drink it with soda. You could drink it, you know, with some juice. You could drink it straight up. You could drink it on the rocks. You can make a New Amsterdam mule. You know, whatever you want to do. But shout out to the New Amsterdam queen, my wife. Yes, New Amsterdam. You know, too, you know she, she loved calling, the, you know, the girlfriends over. They do cocktails. They be down there fucking that New Amsterdam. I'm going to keep it all the way real. I think I need to order some more cases from, from, from the stoolie because you and know, your girlfriends be fucking that New Amsterdam up. So make sure, well, you know, when you're out and about, you pick you up some New Amsterdam vodka. I'm Ooh. telling you, that's what it's about right there. Uh, Flex. Yes, oh, sir. I got to ask you a question. Can first I ask you a question? You no, 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 me. no. I appreciate no, you no, having me. Be, 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 listen, look, 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 let's look. get right to this shit. Okay. You said some crazy shit on YouTube, Flex. On my live. And then 800,000 motherfuckers <laughs> took it to YouTube and social media. That shit and they is took this shit everywhere. That shit is everywhere. Now that you had a little time to think about Now that you had time to sleep on it. Yes, sir. See all the comments. You banned from Brooklyn. Now, <laughs> Don't drive let, through. Let me let me just tell you this. Now that you got the, do you feel like you was talking on the fly? Or do no. you feel like you was talking no. off the handle a little bit? Do Do you want to? Because we made some calls and Jay told us if you retract that we fucking go, statement. Oh, well, well, the brunch? No, yes, yeah, you're going to the brunch. Yo, I, I but Jay you said, to go. Jay no, said, I'm going to tell you something. No, yo, I, just, I'm going to put it out there. You guys were peeped heavy for clowning that brunch. <laughs> heavy. The yoga was super clowning that brunch. No, 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 no. The no, pole no. shots? Nuts. <laughs> no, no, no. We wasn't what? clowning the brunch. Oh, yeah, okay. No, no, no. We was just showing niggas I'm how to sell out. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my picture with Jay still. I just want to say that. Yo, you already know that. Yo, I, I clarified that. You know what? I'm going to clarify. They ain't going to go to the brunch. If they got invites, they not going to the brunch. Uh, they going, not going. I pull up I'm on Hove. They not going to go. I'm yeah, going to yeah, give I mean, me a I, I, take, I take my fan pick too. Fuck it. Everybody yeah, else. Yeah, we got to take it. our joint. I'm, I'm just going to tap him and say, Hove, look interested, man. Just for once. <laughs> Smile, nigga. One time for me, man. But they still take the picture. They see it on his face. But they still take the picture. <laughs> Hove, That's, you would take the picture. Hove being a bitch like this. I like taking pictures, though. You would take the picture with Hove, though. You're asking me. Yeah, I know you would. Fuck you, Cap. It's probably like one, bro. I swear, I'm being honest. You see how my whole thing changed? Hove is the GOAT. He's not like, but you said Drake was better than, than Hove, right? Um, Well, let me clarify that. I do believe if the reference tracks didn't come out, that Drake would be considered the greatest rapper. Oh. Flex, you had time, time to sleep on this shit. That's me. That's me. Flex, Flex. Flex. <laughs> you had time to sleep on this no, shit. Flex. 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 You, to, to Flex. You a he New York is. DJ. Flex. Yes, yes, you're yes, a New York DJ. Flex. You're a New York. No, you are the New York DJ. But Jay's no, my no, favorite no, no, of all time. No, I don't want to hear that rapper. shit. You he going really to sit is. here and tell me all of those times you was at the garden. Yes. And that nigga Jay came out. Amazing. And concept. made history. And you left that fucking garden. Hype. And you won on that fucking radio the next day. And you played that nigga Jay Z mm. for the whole fucking strong show. You're right. You're right. No, you're absolutely You did right. this shit a lot of times. Yeah, I, did. I was on the E Way coming back from fucking New York one time. Jay Z dropped a new record. You played that shit until I lost service. He's my favorite rapper. Do you realize He's that's exit? Rapper. Do you realize that's exit? Rapper. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, still playing? 10, 9, 8. And then when you get halfway in between eight and seven, you lose fucking service. Do you realize you played a nigga for 11 fucking exits? No, and now you going to sit favorite. on here and say, Drake is better than Jay-Z. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not no, done yet. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. And See, you know. You're skipping a part, though. You're skipping. A, you're, you're skipping. This is what you're skipping. If the reference track. Let's, let's, let's be clear on what 
we feel Jay Z is number one on my list. Number one, right? Recently passed Biggie because Biggie was my number one before that, and Jay Z is my number one. I have my list, but I don't have it handy. I got your list. I know, I know you did because he asked. I got your list. I have some questions about your list too. No, I I I got it. I know, I know you got it. (laughs) So then, if not for the reference tracks, right? Because once you bring reference tracks to me into the fold and you are not the person who wrote some of your things and you were saying to me that you wrote your things, you become a great entertainer, not a lyricist. That's me. I just want to say this. Rap is basically created from the streets, right? Yes, yes. So you sit here and telling me an R&B rapper is the greatest fucking rapper of all no, time. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait. no, 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 no. See, no. but I didn't say that. I didn't no, no, say he's the greatest rapper of all time. That's what the fuck you said. No, 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 no. That was the headline. That's what the that fuck you said. Listen. You mean to tell me a R and B rapper is the greatest of all fucking time? Let's go through some accolades. And Drake is great. No, 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 wait, wait. But the greatest wait. of all time. I've been in a lot of clubs and I played a lot of records. And I've been in a lot of big rooms. I played in a lot of concerts. I played some of them Drake singing records that tear that arena apart or that club apart like a rap record. Like, huh? we got it. That, you, you know you can play in a set of 3,000 people. <laughs> you can play 15, 20 Do you Drake realize? songs back to back. Tomorrow, I can't play Jay-Z 20 back to back. Nigga, Man, Jay-Z I, been oh, out for shit. 40 years. Not in 2021. In 2021, see, you can't. That's what I, that, see, that's what, see you, this is a typical old nigga look, 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 who look. forget about. Who, no, 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 no. This is a typical old nigga that live in the moment. I, nigga, I got, yo, you're that's living where the game's at, the, though. No, 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 That don't discredit what the fuck Hov did. No, he did. What he the did was great. What are you talking about? Wait, 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 wait. You're living in the moment. Listen, wherever you were watching this, I need you to go in the comments right now. For some people, see what you mean to spit. For some people, for some of these. You put COVID some, on no, that no. shit. No, no. So some of the people. <laughs> <laughs> for some people who absorb music, for some people who right now absorb music, Drake. Is Michael Jackson to some of these kids, bro? And 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 his and, creativity and was it? All right, it's, that nigga said, "Hey, Hove is a creative dog, as Drake. That Hove nigga is said, not as creative dog, as Drake." That nigga said, "There's no way." That nigga said, that, "Okay, you, it depends on what you're talking about. How, it's be it's ways to be creative." I know, like, my let's brother. Let's be for real. I love him. Let's be for real. Drake hmm. do the same thing. Hove at one time was rapping like this. Scooby Doo 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 Scooby Doo 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 is is oh. Hove more creative than Drake? If you get Hove and Drake on the song, who gonna fuck? Who gonna win? If you get Hove in his prom, not, wait, wait. no. If oh, you get oh, Hove in oh. his prom okay, and Drake right. in his prom on a song, who fucking shit nah, gonna go here, stupid? You give me Drake pre um. I don't give a fuck no, if no, it's no. pre no, after no, he was no, no, born. Pre, no, no. Well, he's probably rapping versus singing too, no, 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 no. because no. Drake got a lot of singing tracks. Yeah, no, he do. But you give me. We're talking Drake before the ghostwriting, and we're talking Jane is prime. Man, I'm I'm not, talking, I don't know. I don't listen, know. I don't know. I don't I'm know. talking Drake with ghostwriters with 82 niggas in the room. I'm talking about he got Patty LaBelle in is that Drake motherfucker. In your top five? Is he, Drake in your top five? Is Drake in your top five? Because I think I got to ask a better question before I continue this conversation. Because if he's not in your top five, then I understand the resistance. No. He's not in your top, but then that's why he's that he, he's he doesn't touch your nerve like that. Don't, 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 don't touch my motherfucking heart. You right? You, he doesn't touch you because, like that because 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 it's too much motherfucking sinking going on. I know what's going this on. Shit nah, catchy. I got some balls. Listen, too. The, no, he got balls. He, he got balls. I'm he not, got balls. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Can, uh, wait, wait. Can I just say he's this? the biggest Trace. selling cornball. Yes, he's he, 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 he's, he's corny, but musically, my brother, musically, <laughs> this is what people. 
You know something? Did Drake fuck one of your girls? No. Because it's personal. No. It's no, no, I swear to you. Know, it always, bitches. It no. always go back to the chick. Drake, no, 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 no. Can I say something? Listen, there's different categories. Is Jake cooler than Drake? Absolutely. You know, the, you, you know things play into music, right? Okay. Is Jay's uh, delivery and confidence definitely stronger than a Drake's? Yes. You know what I mean? Musically, we can't let sometimes the blogs, people's opinion. And remember, the people who give their opinion, most of all of people like Drake are other rappers and other entertainers that have not reached his success. They will be the first ones to comment on well, what Drake is. Well, nigga, you selling 100,000 units. I don't know if you know what Drake is. So mm. you take some of that away and you push. Because he ain't selling 100,000. Listen, listen. <laughs> he ain't selling 100,000. Right. So Even my personal voice, opinion. He, he don't I have knew no that opinion. shit was listen, coming. No, because he, he sparks up with me. What you talking about? <laughs> Fuck you selling Nigga, we sold 100,000 independent, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I, I ain't no Fuck numbers. Fuck, bro, you was in a jail. That's why, nigga. We, we, Fuck, bro, with you. You, hey, hold There's on. There's no proof of this. You was hearing about me up to jail, nigga. You call home, yeah, because you doing it. I hear about drop tops and shit. How you think drop tops come before the motherfucking deal, nigga? I will say Fuck this, wrong with you. Can I, I got footage of me and Drop Top when I'm happy about deal, right nigga. now. Right. Fuck wrong yeah, with you. I'm agree with you on that, but this is what I'm really happy about. There's no way in the fucking world uh -huh. that motherfucking campaign that he just ran a couple minutes ago for Jay-Z that we're not getting in the brunch. So keep oh, running. Oh, oh, we're getting in the fucking brunch. Uh -huh. We're getting in the brunch. <laughs> we're fucking going to the brunch. Uh, he held the brunch. Listen, he held the brunch. We he held the whole the brunch. Hold up. Listen, listen, listen. The fuck stories come from the cell when I grip Because up, you man. was touching me. I didn't know what happened. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my fault. I thought we were sellies. I didn't know. I'm sorry. We All the sellies. shit you get a hit on there, I'm grabbing no, you. Like we was in we the going to the brunch stories from the cell. You know, like when the game, they damn cell. So we all going. You're it wasn't saying, like that. Okay, y'all looking at No, you're not going. He's going. Uh. The, the campaign he just ran, that defense he just, that was a that was a Johnny Cochran defense for Jay. That was legendary. The Rock. So you know what I mean? We going to the we going to the brunch. Get your suit ready, girl. I know. I don't no fucking suits. No, we got to man. We going in. Uh, you going in? Don't think I forgot the Drake conversation. You gonna put a suit jacket over some Adidas? Yeah, I ain't forget the Drake conversation. Yeah. Let me get back to it. Okay, but let me just say this. Wait, no, 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 no. Some niggas no, no. be the best, right? Me, wait, no, no, no. You didn't let me get my Drake defense in because you want to go to the brunch. Give me two seconds. Let me get my let me get my Drake defense. Cool. I think Drake fucked one of your chicks. He did. No, but he I, but did. can I say something? Drake hit his bitch. Wait, 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 wait. He keep calling. You take away certain things, right? We just let's just be about the music. For a second, not about what comes with it, the marketing, the promotion, the uh, just everything on both sides. Just take it for the music, right? And I, it's hard to put those guys kind of in a comparison because they're a little bit two different eras and they overlapped a little bit. In the end of Jay's career, overlapped with the beginning of Drake's. But all I'm saying is the the songwriting, the singing, the rapping, the versatility. The melodies. I mean, we can't deny the guy's talent because he looks like a cornball. Just his music. His music. Like the music. Bro, like just take it for the music. But you taking it for what he looked like, dog. No, 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 I no, like no, Andre 3000 no, no, music. No, no, no. He was running around with pampers on. No, 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 no. I'm saying it that I'm he taking everything. No I'm taking everything like out that. the equation. Hold on. I'm taking everything out the equation. Let's just judge the music. And if you just judge the music, I'm going to throw Jay-Z on fucking 10 out of 10 times when I get in the car if, over no, Drake. Yes, yes. Can That's I say all something? I'm saying. How about this? How about this? The young ones, right? Melody right now, R&B and hip-hop has fusioned and it's merged. merged. It's merged. Like 1,000%. And melody with, with um, the younger audience and these records and the success... Melody is very, very important right now. That's I, in is this that true? Time. But so then, see, that's like that's like the young mean, niggas. That's like the young niggas who be screaming, "Oh, Kobe was better than Mike and shit like that." See, was they, he? They, they, you know, no, I don't think so. Right. That's what the fuck my point is. I don't know. I like Kobe. Y'all, y'all get caught up in these times. Like LeBron better than like Mike. Y'all get caught up in these times, and y'all forget the fucking greatness that a nigga put in, man. No, it's a lot of great. And like, you was back yeah. there. Shout no, to my you man was, Free. You was Shout dying to my man for Free. a rock chain. Wait, yeah. Wait, oh no, <laughs> nigga was dying for a rock chain. <laughs> I've always been a solo 
independent. He was dying for a rock team. Everybody was dying but, for a rock team. But you did put Drake then. over Hov, though. Like, I did. Oh, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, he, I want but, you to, that's an issue. That was you dying for a rock team? No, I wasn't. I you wasn't. wanted I one. Swear, Come I swear. Come on, dog. Everybody. I swear. You, you, nah, I'm going to tell you what Chaney wanted. I'm going to say, I'm going to swear. I'm going to tell you what Chaney wanted, and he don't want to admit it. What? A bad boy? Death is Storm. Yo, Clue's my guy. Yes, no, that ain't. You You're lying ass nigga. You came uh, at Clue for 32 years on a radio. I did not. Come yes, on. I like Clue. What, what happened between you and Clue? Not, I swear I to God, nothing. I swear to God, nothing. Desert Storm. Let so me, you just here, came at let's Clue give for people, nothing? No, no. Let's give people their flowers. When we say a name, I want to give flowers Let's first. give flowers, yeah. I want to say, say, first of all, I want to commend Clue for a couple things. One is, being a mixtape DJ coming out of Queens was very difficult. Because all of the greats, the Kate Capri's, the SNS's came out of Harlem. Mm. And he also reconstructed the tape game. This shit was crazy. Because it went from maybe cutting up or maybe kind of new records to exclusives, which then a clue top five, top six song, he began to then drive the industry. So if your song was top, 10 on a clue tape buzzing the label would kick in run with the record put it out maybe even change the single that you know i don't deny him anything to compete i'm a competitor Mm. so clue comes on the radio my friend he's my friend like you know like and i know he's he even came to me and we had a, a friend talk and I might have reneged on something, so I'm going to apologize to Clue today. Okay, but let me ask you a question. Would Clue, I reneged wait, 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 on wait. something. Would Clue, Clue say you his friend? I hope so. But you reneged sure. on? What you reneged on? Clue had came and spoke to me. A story I never told. So Clue, Clue got the job. We're going we're gonna to back up a little bit. Clue should have never left Hot 97. And him and the program director at the time were having unnecessary words mm. that I didn't feel were good at the time and it shouldn't warrant a guy of talent walking out the building. Mm-hmm. So me and Clue were in conversation about the situation like, I, I know this isn't cool what's happening. Um, I know it's uh, you're being held back for a specific reason because you got into something that's maybe a little internal. So it was always, you know, we were conversating about that, like like we do other things. And he made the decision that he was going to go to Power 105. And we all understood that. He had asked, or he had conversated with me and say, hey, I really don't want to get into, I know what you do when someone's on against you. And I don't want to do that with you, meaning we friends. And I did agree to it at the time. And I, maybe I shouldn't have went back on my word because I did. As it was going along, that's part of my shtick. My, I'm, I'm WWF on the radio. It's wrestling. And when I attacked him the first time, he got mad at me. He said, "Yo, you gave your word." And I said, "Yeah, my brother, but it's kind of taking away what's me." And 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 you over the, like I normally. Go at my competitor. And I maybe I fell into the bullshit. My bosses was joking with me. Oh, that's your friend. You don't want to. That's your friend. Your butt. Sorry. Mm-hmm. That's your friend. That's your buddy. That, that that's was cool. So your it boss put a, bat- a battery in your back? A little bit. <laughs> but but I, I would have done it anyway. Apologize to Clue. No, 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 no. No, no. I did. I did. I did. I did. No, no, no. Right here. Right here. Right here. Look at him. Look at him. Which camera is he at? Any, right that's here. You. Yeah, no, no, I apologize, Clue. I went no, back. No, 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 tell me no, why. No, 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 that was too cool. No, no, that was Break too cool. Break it down, man. Come Speak on, man. to you from the heart. Wait, 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 wait. Because I went back. No, 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 no. I went so, back on my word. No, 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 no. Speak, don't talk to us. I went back don't on my word. I, I went back talk on my to word. Clue, no, DJ Clue. DJ Clue. I went back on my word when I was going to, like, kind of not uh, be aggressive. I gave my word I wasn't going to be aggressive. Did him dirty. He did him dirty. He trusted you. Well, damn, you flex. Now, motherfucker. Now, damn now flex. wait, now, 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 now. How no but. That's there's a but here. There's a but here. Pause. Um. In competition, 
You're competing. And we're not competing for bragging rights. This is companies. This is money. Mm -hmm. You know, the number one person is going to warrant bigger advertising. Right. I mean, I got to tell you guys, you guys mm -hmm. play in the podcast yeah. space. So that's that's what I feel I want to keep it. So I don't, I don't dislike him at all. I actually respect him. And I had to really get on my new music game and exclusives. Because if you remember, before Clue was against me, I wasn't overly exclusives. I was, here's a new joint, here you go. Mm -hmm. But if my competitor is playing exclusives, I'm going to out-exclusive you. Right. You're not going to get up earlier than me in this game. Right. You're not going to out, out anything me. And, you know, if you're younger, I'm going to compete with a lot of energy. Right. So, in that to say yes. But I'm going to tap anybody. Listen, it's understood in New York. Right. If you sign on when I'm on, you means you want smoke. Mm. That's understood. Now, I did... I love him, but he was, good, he was finessing me a little bit. Meaning... You know, he was so he was talking tough when I was out I had my little guard down. When I was when I was when I was like, you know, we're not gonna go at it. And not exclusively tough, but enough to insinuate, you know, you know what this uh, game's built on. Right. So sometimes I gotta come out and, and be aggressive. Right. Hold on, hold on. Let's get into the next sponsor. I'm gonna say this, man. Do you, do you have any problems lasting? You know, do, do you get complaints from your woman that when you're in your bed, you can't you can't keep going? You're coming up short in the game. You ne you always get in the field, but you never make it past halftime. You never seen the fourth quarter. You know what you got to do, Flex. Mm -hmm. What happened? Listen, but this is what you got to do, man. Because I, I heard you know we heard about it. We got to call. Yeah, from, yeah. Yeah, your significant other. You, you what gotta happened? Go I to, thought that was good. No, you got to get some swipes, Roman swipes. <laughs> you got to go to getroman.com slash million, right? And they're going to hook you up with some swipes. They're going to be clinically proven. You don't need no prescription. You wipe it on and help you last longer because for some reason, you're, somebody reached out to us. She told us that you money. never made it past halftime. You never made it past <laughs> halftime, let alone the fourth quarter. So, you know, one thing like, that, that's, that's one thing we love about Roman yeah. swipes because Gil use them all the time. You got to tell me two, twice. Because two days. <laughs> listen, money, listen, because Tootie hit it. Wow, Lord, he just, this motherfucker just don't, go, he can't, he can't keep going. I said, okay, I got a, I got something for you, right? Listen, too, like I'm, talking about, I'm talking about, one thing about Roman swipes, they I mean, discreet. just different fee listen, levels. Listen, they discreet. You can just put them in, put them in your wallet. Nobody will know that when they get mailed to you. Mm -hmm. Discreet, discreet. But nobody going to know what you got going on. She just like, oh my God. Because I know the difference between a 30 second and listen, a 60 second listen, commercial. It's something else, huh? Yeah. But listen, that, that's the difference between, <laughs> there's a difference. Listen, there's a difference between two quarters and four quarters. You yeah. have a good four quarter. You never did a whole dollar yet. Uh, they just say, you the 50 cent piece. Uh, she just say, oh, he's 50 cent piece. Go he's shawty. Listen, he's it's never, your birthday. He's never going to come through. Party. So if you're out there man. and you a guy, you can't make it through the fourth quarter with the lady that you love, the lady that's the twinkle what in you your gotta eyes. What you got to do? You gotta oh, go to get, really? you gotta go to getroman.com slash millions and listen, and this was gonna happen mm -hmm. for five dollars, right? Five dollars if you get it for five dollars if you choose a monthly plan right now. The Roman swipe. So listen, go go to get Roman swipes dot go to getroman.com slash million right now and they're gonna take care of you. But let me ask him a question. Wait. I got some can I ask him a question? I, I, yes, I just wanted to follow up on one question about what he was saying. Go ahead. Okay. So the shit that was going on with you and Clue. Is good brother. Yeah, okay, very good brother. Is that wanna, the reason wanna... why some times putting bad energy out there when fabulous? No, I like up? Fab. I like Fab. I'm serious. I, I think Fab feels because I, I don't know if it was drink champs or something. He felt that because me and me and his me and Clue's relationship had because we weren't working together that maybe it affected me and Fab's relationship. And, and not at all. I'm a big Fab fan. I'm a fan of his music. You know, and this isn't a fabulous statement, what I'm saying. You know, I want to I wanna say something. I've had five albums, right? I've had some bad albums. I've had some bad singles. I've had bad days on the radio. And I've had bad days in the club where I've stunk it up. But on average, I've had great appearances, great club dates, and great radio performances or whatever. Um, please, and this is not a fab thing, but there's a part of when veteran artists do not want to be real with themselves 
about the music that they're putting out that everything can't be a home run. And sometimes it's not that you didn't get support. Maybe your fan base didn't like what you were giving them. And I have never, ever seen a veteran artist, because remind you, I just told you I've had bad albums, bad singles, bad days on the radio, and bad days in the club. Mm -hmm. You got to be real with yourself. Mm -hmm. I have never, since the in, since podcasts have been around, and YouTube, I've never seen an artist go on and say, maybe that album wasn't right. There's always someone that they blame or is a reason for it or it's the label. It's okay. Sometimes you're not as in tune as other times. Perfect example. LL is a guy over a stretch of time. Sometimes his albums are in tune and sometimes they're not. But if you count them all up, there's a lot of success there. And a lot of times he's been in tune more than out of tune. Like that's what it is. So sometimes when I hear an artist say, our relationship is different. Nigga, maybe you just didn't make the right fucking mm. records mm. because, mm -mm. but no, Shaft gets nervous. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's the truth. Maybe you didn't make the right fucking record because mm -hmm. guess what? You have a YouTube page and if your shit didn't, your latest shit didn't go as good as your old shit, whose fault is that? That's from the mm. door your shit ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But vice versa, when you have a great record, that's where your record does great too. Mm -hmm. So, a person playing your stuff, let me, if any new and up and coming artist, let me just let you know, radio does not break you as an artist. Radio only makes you a superstar. YouTube, the uh, DSPs, social media, you can break your music there. That's it. You don't, you don't need me to break your music. Now, my freestyles, that helps break artists, you know, but not that. So it's sometimes, I guess, it's usually veteran artists. The young artists just go back to the drawing board. If you're a veteran artist, right, you have to pay attention. There are qualities that the young kids are doing that are very important. They're dropping music constantly. Mm -hmm. Keep up. Why, why can't you keep up? If you can't keep up, you ain't got to... If you don't have as much music to drop as them, you got to think about it. And then, I'll be honest, if you're over a rapper and you're over 35, you shouldn't even be dropping an album. You should drop an EP. You ain't got enough material. You ain't standing on a corner long enough to give me 12 or 15 songs. Damn. Mm -mm. I'm not, uh -oh. Am I lying? Uh -oh. I'm not... Nah, I'm not... <laughs> Mm. Chef, am I lying? Is that a lie? You know I ain't lying, bro. Mm. Mm. It's the truth. So you saying there's an age limit? You got to yeah, drop 35 and up is over with. No, 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 no. I don't think it's over with. Look at Floyd. Everybody that's successful over 35. I mean, a Floyd Mayweather or whoever, Jordan. You switch up. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody doing the same style when they came in and there's success. Mm -hmm. I don't know many people... Because let me tell you something. If you're a rapper or a DJ. Jadakiss. Like, Fabulous. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, stop, man. If you're a rapper or a DJ, <laughs> right, it's not about what you want to be delivered. It's also about the climate, and it's also about your surroundings and what's going on. If this is what's working, I'm not saying you copy it or bite it, but how do you incorporate yourself? I don't know. J. Cole does it good. Um, Kendrick. Would you like to apologize to Fabulous on here right now for putting no, no, 23rd no, no. on the list? 23rd. Your list, bro. Did you feel he should have been 23rd on the list? Your list, dog. You feel Fab should have been 23rd? You got your list, dog. Whew. Can we kick? Who's, yeah. who's before? We, 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 we did this, though. Yeah. 23rd. I apologize, man. All right, where are right, you going to put go. him at? Repubs it. 24. What? Hey. <laughs> 24. <laughs> I, that's where I think he belongs. So he, he has the list. So let's go over it. Yeah. So you got Jay Z number one. Uh huh. Well, well Drake number one. Jay Z number yeah, so, two. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. yeah. Because you, you, we got, got, we got yeah. your new no, list. No, yeah. man. You should almost got to be Drake number one. Drake Jay -Z. is number one if it's not for the reference track. So you got Jay Z number one. Andre three thousand number two. I like him. Nas number three. Yes. Rakim number four. 
great with a questionable pen as an ashtray. Now, are you okay number. with those five so far? No. No. But hold on, let me ask you a question. When you when you no. placing people, as you saying lyrics, influence. I'm like, doing, do I'm, do? doing, oh, doing I'm doing oh. lyrics, influence, impact, sales. I'm just trying to combine it no. all in my head. So no. no. Number six, we got J. Cole, uh, seven, Kendrick. Mm-hmm. I'm number, cool with them. Number eight, Pusher. Uh, mm-hmm. Number nine, Jadakiss. You number, didn't like Pusher? Yeah, I ain't num- seen it Number ten, yeah. number ten, like Black Thought. Yeah. I think Black Thought should be higher. Um, uh, Where'd I have him? What number? Ten. Where'd you, I, I, where you I think he's top five. I put him top okay, five. Okay, okay, okay. I don't. Uh, okay. Oh, you don't? No. All right, okay, okay. I got, I, I'm a big, you know what? I should correct myself. I have come to learn what Black Thought has meant, maybe in the last five to seven years. He's a beast. I, I, yeah, I didn't. I don't. I wasn't aware of how talented he was until I witnessed him in 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 front of me. And yeah. is Drake's Quinn? I mean, when you say his pen is questionable, what do you yeah. mean? Um, we have of uh, well, how much you know, he's ref, really the wrote, reference, wrote. The reference, how much he wrote. I understand what he's saying. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, eleven KRS one, twelve Slick Rick. Thirteen. Oh, uh, don't wait here, on dog. Like, I love the shit out of Karis One. <laughs> you, and and, you always no, no, stop no, on that section. That. Fuck that dog. He always stops. There. I love the shit out of Karis One and Slick Rick, man. You gonna tell me? Fabulous, a nigga that came into this fucking game in nineteen fucking what ninety nine? No, 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 living, no, 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 living, and no. it's also living MCs it's a, too. It, it, it does no. say living, living, MCs. Wait, wait, living, wait, living MCs. On. I just wanna yeah. make sure that's understood hold as we're going over nineteen ninety nine. This nigga could still sell the TLA the fuck out in twenty twenty one, the Fillmore the fuck out in twenty twenty one. Right now. You're asking why Karis is in front of him. Can I say something? Can I just say something? I'm not going. I don't want to. I don't want to debate about this. No, are you Kar- sure? Karis, what, what, what year did he come out? I feel like 86, 87. And he was dead by eighty nine. No, he's no, 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 no. No, he 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 dipped and came back. Can I say this? Can I say this? Came back. Can I say this? Flex, flex. He's still he's still touring around the world. Well, he's a legend. What do you think, Wallo? He is of a his legend. Lyric- no, no, no. Lyrically, man. But come on, I've man. Seen this guy. Been for 20 years. All right, all right. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is with me and, and maybe. You believe this shit? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, How let about me, this? Hey, let me, let me finish the top 25. Sorry, sorry, let me finish sorry. the top 25 and then we'll. We, yeah, but we they, they're heavy on this KRS one. Look, day. so then we got Wayne at 13, LL at, at uh, 14, Eminem 15. See, that's a fucked uh, up list. Like, well, let me just on. say, no, <laughs> fuck that. It's a fucked up list, man. Hey, hold on. It's a couple people. No, like, no, no, no. Fuck that. We not like. How the fuck is KRS one? And Slick Rick in front of LL. Um, LL. Get, get to the mic, Flex. Mm, for me? Uh, no. And where DMX at? See, he be going I'm off not, niggas that fuck his bitches back in the day, That's what I was going to say. DMX got to be, be on going, here, bro. Where DMX not on? Yo, no. Yeah. Hey, look. That that was definitely like, I'm like, yo, DMX. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's hey, get look. back to L. Let's get back to LL. You ain't got game on there? No Lupe? I mean, it's 50, bro. 50. I don't I I I I no wait. LL, right? I mean KRS one man, <laughs> everybody's a different type of rapper. DMX. DMX is not KRS one. <sighs> KRS one. KRS one. Hey, listen, oh listen, listen. God. I've seen KRS one, <laughs> not just bars, his off the top of the head <sighs> is something. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold up. His off the top of the head is something, my brother. It's something. Like, you you, you got the, the guy's stage you show. You ever been to a DMX show? DMX show is Yo, dope, Re- too. Hey, let me tell you. Hey, you got Remy Ma in the top 25. Hold, hold up. Hold she up, shouldn't Tom. be there? Hold up, Tone. Over DMX? Hold up, Tone. Hold up, hold up, Tone. Flex. I, I, I'm Flex. going. It's Flex. only my opinion and Flex. how they impacted me. This is how heavy DMX is, right? <laughs> Listen, Flex. Yes, I'm a DMX I was, fan. I was in prison. Yes. I called Gil, right? He was doing his thing. He was in the game already. Listen, listen. <laughs> I think it was the Rough Rider. If I'm not mistaken, it was the Rough Rider Cash so Money on? Tour. Out here. I called Gil. Do you know he wasted my whole 15 minutes talking about that DMX performance? And you ain't got DMX on that fucking list. That was the greatest shit I ever seen in my life, man. Damn. I that understand. nigga came out and had 26,000 niggas barking. I understand. I understand. I understand. I, 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 it's only, listen, it's just my opinion. First of all, no, 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 no. Fuck that. 
look, look, look. <laughs> Do you realize DMX was the first nigga in the history of the fucking game? He dropped that album and went three, four. How many times platinum? Several. Oh, okay. And then dropped another album the same fucking year and went. How many times I think platinum? No, no, get the Several. Get the, get the, huh? several he several. put up multi platinum fucking albums know, in one man. year. I'm sorry. I, and I, and I'm you got Remy Ma and everybody over top of him. He ain't and, let me just say this. And you got like you, no Ma. disrespect. I like I like no Ma. disrespect. Yeah, yeah. But you got these motherfuckers who want motherfucking cardboard in front of this nigga, man. <laughs> <The cardboard. laughs> You in here talking about, no, off the top of the dome when yeah, shit didn't. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me just say something. He's I very know, impactful. Can I just say something? I don't know no nigga ever made millions of dollars rapping off the top of the fucking dome. Nah, Chris, we Chris talking about, money. Chris no, good money. No, he wasn't like, rapping off the top of the dome. The shit he was rapping off. It was part was of the show. Right, it was fucking. Part of the show, okay. part of the so show. So at the end of the fucking day, man, shout out to Karis One. But man, you, man, you going to change this fucking list up, man. This is a fucked up ass list, man. Yeah, this, this list is crazy. You got niggas that's been around for 20 years that elevated from motherfucking music to movies and shit. And but then that, you, I can't, and I can't. Then, that, and then that, you that put motherfuckers. That, like, like, let me just say this. That's like saying Bo Jackson is the greatest running back of all oh, time. Let me make sure I have this list. Nigga played for five years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let me make sure I have this in front of me so we, like, we're, we're in sync. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, let me make sure. Okay. 20, 20, big dad. Uh, hold on, nineteen. Please, man, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, where'd you leave off? So, so you got you got uh, 16, 16 with fifty. Cent. So w- you felt that uh, that LL should be in front of Karis one. That was really bothering, bro. Your whole list just walla walla walla. You feel you feel Karis in front of LL? Yeah, LL still here. Wait, right. now yeah, LL, LL, LL oh still God, here. That nigga big. asked that nigga, do you feel as though Karis one is front of LL? He said, yeah, LL's still here. You confusing. No, no, see, see, Flex what that make, mean? Flex was making this list based off of people he had run-ins with. Right, niggas. Nah, come on. <laughs> LL put fucking hands and feet on this nigga back in the day. He'll want to tell us about when LL fucked you up one time at the club, man. What LL do, man? How the fuck? No, no, no. LL plays this bitch, man. How, how, how you don't have DMX on that fucking list? He's not in the top 25. Oh, is he, where is he? He's 28. DMX? Yeah, but, but you got you got Remy Ma, Red Man, Fabulous, Buster Rhymes, Cam Ryan, Big Daddy Kane, Mace, Styles P, Kanye, all the head of big, uh, uh, DMX. No, and, and only yes, nigga yes, I agree with yes. is Kanye. And, I only, and Kanye would be higher up, but you know, he's also an entertainer, and I, or the, it's also a questionable pen. You know what, dog? You a fucked up individual, man. Why, man? <laughs> like, I'm just starting to realize that, man. You do people dirty. You a flex. fucked up nigga, Flex, man. You made that fucked up ass list, man. DMX, man. I hope DMX don't see you, man. I see him. I love DMX. I love DMX. I love DMX. Let me ask you this question: What rappers got some money and change? But listen, Jadakiss is on my new album. Yeah, we thank gonna, you. We gonna get to your new album. Thank you. No, we thank gonna get you. to your new album. No, because no, you, no. you guys. Yeah, we gonna get to all that. Who's some of the rappers that got some motherfucking money and changed up on you? Let's see how real you keep. No, it. no. Who got money? No, 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 no. Them changed up. Who changed up? Nobody changed up. Nobody you. changed up on you over the years. They see, was they the, were so motherfucking wait, humble coming I, into no, the game, I, no, 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 and then I'm they got that something. bag and they changed something. the fuck up. But I'm gonna say something. Oh, okay. people say to me sometimes. This is a question that's been asked to me before, and this is really, really what I believe. Who you introduced me to? Who's the young lady you introduced? Rocky. Me? Rocky. So you introduced me to Rocky today, talented rapper, right? If I see Rocky four years from now, and she's too busy to call me back, or she's too hectic, or a manager hits her back, hits me back. That's what we want to happen for them. Mm-hmm. We want them to be busy. We want them to tour. We want them to not have to. You know, so me, I'm going to be honest. I get excited. I know this sounds weird. When an artist, I like to get him on the phone and joke with him. Your money changing, huh, huh right, nigga? You, you, you them jets, you in them jets, you in them planes. Yeah, that's how they call me all the time. Look at Gil, Gil all the time. Yeah, they, hey, hey, I see you on their tone with you. That shit no, I, I'm serious. I never, I never considered it change up. I don't. And guess what? If they cycle through and sell millions and now they're on an independent, maybe selling out as much, I love the call because I love 
the reason why, look, I'm, I'm an elder statesman. And I get just excited to go down to that radio or that nightclub or now recently to make songs because I love feeding off of their energy. I love an artist who has his first hit. He has no jewelry on. He's excited. He's working on whatever, whatever. He sees his record go on in a club. He's super excited. I like to watch the whole build. Oh, they bought a new car, a big watch. I do. But you know why? Because I'm being honest, my brother. It's it's because I like seeing that success. I love seeing it. We ain't say nothing about the young niggas. We say who was some of the up. niggas who got some money and switched up. I, on I you never looked at it and switched up. I'm being honest with you, Gilly. That that's what I'm Okay, asking. so so okay. So who some of the artists that, that active started acting funny over the years? Man, let me give that some thought. Shaft the woman. Um, he don't want you to answer. Wait, let me let me, oh, let, he me, can't let, me think, let me think. Um, I'm gonna just say this. Can I say this again? Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I just want to give you some because uh, a lot of things that you say, you're gonna need some uh, home security. So I think <laughs> you should get with Simply Safe. <laughs> Something about Simply Safe home security is 24 seven. I'm talking about professional. I'm talking about professional monitoring 24 seven. To protect me. I'm talking about protect you. Simply Safe. Yeah. They're gonna protect you. You're gonna need and, that shit. And one thing about it, right now, you get a free camera, right? Our, you know, our listeners, they get them. We get it's them a, a free camera, commercial. right? We give it. Listen, <laughs> we giving our listeners free security it's cameras when you purchase a Simply Safe system at simplysafe.com/game. Listen, you also get 60 days a risk-free trial, right? So there's nothing to lose, right? So you're you, listen. Listen, check this out, Flex. Yes, you sir. don't have nothing to lose getting the security because you need it more than anything because you didn't put certain... Arr, arr. So you need it more than anything. Especially so, when I'm talking, when I'm talking so, about so music listen, today. Listen, it got a bunch of... Listen, arsenal of sensors, cameras that protect every inch of your home. So you definitely... I'm talking about it never before. You need... <laughs> listen, we're going to have our people over there at simplysafe.com. Install it. Slash game. And you can install it yourself. It's easy to install. You ain't got to worry about that. But our people over here, we're going to make sure that they put some money on safe. you. That makes sure you're safe because your list is not safe. So that make you unsafe. Yeah, so Simply Safe is going to make sure you're safe. So go to simplysafe.com. How long would I last there. in the brunch? How long? Would I be safe in there? No, you no, can't go. You can't go. You but Simply Safe. You'll be safe if you go to the brunch. And you in a room and Simply Safe is watching you. Because right. if you got Simply Safe watching you, <laughs> you're cool. So our listeners go to simplysafe.com slash game and they're going to take care of you. Take care of you properly. Who's some rappers that act funny on you? You don't want to talk now, about that. Let me that. ask you no, a question. No, no, wait, no, wait. You said no. When you say you act question? funny, let me, let me, let me really question? think. Let me really think. I, I just want to ask you a question. Yes, rumor. sir. Yes, sir. And I want you, because you, we being 100. All right, we're being 100. We're I, being... I like to ask. See, the God is my God. The God. Charlemagne, that's my guy. Yeah, I like him. I did, like you, him. did you ever send somebody? Did you send somebody to the radio? No, to man. I'm asking you. Did I you did send not, somebody? I, I did not. I did not. Did, <laughs> tell a tell a story. Could you be? I, no, no. I had nothing to do with it. I never did anything to him, man. Why? Well, why would you? I mean, ain't, ain't no let's give people their flowers. Ain't no cases going. Can come I say something? Let's yeah, why give, would you be? From let's give people their flowers. Because you just asked me a question. You just said something. I'm going to give people their flowers. I am a fan of people who are dedicated to what they believe in and when they work hard. I am mm-hmm. a fan of Charlemagne. You know why? He's dedicated to what he believes in and what he does. So why you give them niggas that 600 to sock the shit out of him? I did not. At 600? Yeah, they said you gave, you <laughs> gave, you gave them niggas 600 to sock the shit out of him up at the joint. I swear to God, I didn't. Up at the, when, when he was walking into the radio station, the nigga stole him from the back. I didn't even see that. When did that happen? Nigga, you see the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wait, first of all, listen. <laughs> Y'all niggas is crazy. Let me tell you something. Somebody <laughs> sock Charlemagne from the back. <laughs> Y'all niggas yeah, that's is crazy. Not really. Stop. <laughs> Y'all niggas. Not, not really. Man. Not really. I just think it easier. He said he ain't see it, but he talking about not really. You a right ass nigga. No, 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 no. Can I say something? Can I say 200 something? 200 apiece. They can caught him I, getting no. out the motherfucking Uber. No. There was no Uber. There was no Uber. <laughs> nah, seriously. Listen. I, let me tell you something. Yo. It's WWF. You know why I would never be behind sending anybody somewhere for a couple reasons. One no, is, we just played. No, 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 but we just played, no, 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 no. But we, we got to talk about you. One is this. You gave him a stack. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. And I don't know why, but I Go am about WWF. I am always okay with a person having an opinion of me because you should have an opinion. I don't know if you've ever noticed, guys. People seem to. It's. It's. I never started. I, I'm never the one that jumps out and goes, Rah! you know what it is? I give people a three-strike rule, 
Oh, you just said something about me? All right, that was cute. Or you, all right, maybe you, maybe you, you know, you want to tangle. Third time, I'm like, the third, people should keep this in mind. The third time somebody Damn. moves with you, the third time somebody moves with you, they think you're pussy. When it gets to three times, mm. there's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Then there's a, maybe he's feeling me out. Third time, you want smoke. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, as I'm giving them the smoke, this is the third time you said something about me. Mm -hmm. So now I go hard. But I mean, I don't start it and I'm okay with being no, friends. No, no, you started with, with Clue. Don't say you don't start it. You, you, you started, you just told that. The bro, nigga started when bro. he went. Now you're going to no, make no, me no, raise no, my no, voice. No, no. You there fucking you started no. with there Clue. You no, no, no. You there said you, said you started. Now, it, I'm not, listen. I'm going to answer that really right. No, let's ask your man. Did he no. say you started with Clue? Nobody to should your be. man. Did he say you started with Clue? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Did he say you started? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Here. Let's, let's, let, this is like a boxing ring. And if motherfuckers think it's not, it's what it is. It's just like the music with, 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 with entertainers right now, music, it's always a fight for who's the best, or who's number one, two, three, or whatever it is. And that's what it is in anything. Boxing. I call it radio and DJing or entertainment, the entertainment business. Nobody ever says those two people are the best at the top. It's one top and nigga you underneath. And yes, I did start it. If you go down the dial against me, be have thick fucking skin. Mm. That's it. Have thick skin. Was you mad at Clue because he was the first one to put an album out? No, I like that. I liked it. No, I had, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's get the timeline right. I was before him. You was? You put I, the yeah, album yeah, out? yeah, yeah, 96. Oh, so you put the album out first. Yeah, but I love, listen. So I wait, wait, wait. So Clue copied your platform. No, no, he didn't copy. No, no, no. He was the first one to put the album no, no, out. No, no, Clue didn't copy. Let me tell Who you something. Who was the first DJ to put the album out? <laughs> Molly Maul. So y'all all Way copied back Molly Maul. Molly Maul is, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the blueprint for my beginnings and, and that whole album. Um, Molly Maul, Red Alert. And um, Chuck Chill Out had albums in the 80s okay. so with different artists. So but that's then, But who, then with the 90s, you brought it back. But I don't want to skip somebody because I feel like... Um, you copied somebody. You don't want to I feel like somebody was before me. Who? You give him his props, man. Don't, don't, try to, don't try to do that to him. Who did it first, man? You know who did it first, man. Don't I think Marley Maul. I'm going to go with Marley Maul. No, that no, was no, the no. no. Marley Maul did it in the 80s. We said 80s, who did it in the, in the 90s. 90s. You brought it back, right? Clue copied you. Because we want to give you I don't your think flowers. he copied. I don't think he we copied. We want to give you your flowers. I think he continued the progress, and so did drama, and so did Khaled. I think but you started this shit. I don't look at it like that, though. I continued it from Molly Maul. I continued it so from Molly Maul. So Molly Maul started, and then you took that shit yeah, over. Yeah, Molly Maul, Red, and Chuck Chill Out. Red Alert, Chuck Chill Out, Molly Maul. Those are the first guys that I saw personalities who cut up making albums. And there was another guy in Florida. Gosh, man. Big DJ. Uh, Magic Mike. Magic Mike. I believe. You know, they, you know whole first. Lo, you know be knowing every fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, had, he had all the bass joints. He was a legend. And, and, I, and I don't know what else was down in that but, but area. Like, hey, DJ Gil, Magic Mike. Look at Gil Face, though. Because you know I'm a, a hip-hop <laughs> yeah, historian yeah, yeah, about him. Yeah. DJ Magic now, now, Mike. Ho, ho, ho. Hip-hop historian time. You know I ain't built for that. Come on, let's you gotta go. Gotta be. You gotta be. You, 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 yeah, I'll fuck you with DJ and Force This right here, you got right here. I'm gonna make it hold easy on, for hold you. On. Wait, I'm wait, gonna make it easy. Let me start it off. I'm, I'm Let me worst. start it off. I'm the worst. In this corner, we got Funk Master Flex. DJ for 1,000 years, been running the radio, oh, been on the streets, been out here. Set me up for the to loss. Know what's going on. Set me up for the Funk loss. Master Flag. The champ. And then in this corner, we got, he beat I Shaq. I already concede. He beat Cosmic Kev. He beat, who else should be? Did Clark, he beat? Clark King called thought, me out. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't beat yeah. Shaq. Him and Shaq tied. Oh, they all tired? Yeah, they tired. He stumped oh, him on something, though. He stumped Shaq. And he was locked up for a thousand years. He could only read books. Wallow 267. The champion. The champ. <laughs> he got that. Ask him some his, something hip-hop history that he can't answer. I, What's the name of the song that Craig G had on Molly Moore album? Oh, uh, shit. Uh -uh. You just talk, we talking Molly. Uh -oh. wait, 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 wait. First on the album. The album. Duck Alert? You got me. All right. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, he fucked you up. Wait, wait, but to be up. honest, he had two, I think. No, but I'm talking about Duck Alert. All I right, give you that. He had two. All right, all right. Come on, come on. What was the other one? 
No, you got to come with one. Come on, let's come with oh, a question. Oh, a question? Come yes, come on. Oh, you want me to keep? No, 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 no. no, no, no oh, no, shit, no, I didn't no. know I had to come with a question. Yes, you do. Come on. A hip-hop question. It could be yes. any any era. Any era? Yes, come on, man. You know how this shit going. The, yeah, four, members, the four members of the Cold Crush Brothers. Mm. Their names. I'll just ooh, take their names. Ooh, ooh, you, ooh. Grandmaster Flash. I'm going to give you another chance. Oh, oh. I'm getting the Cold Crush Brothers. Let me let me give you a second. The all the all Cold Crush Brothers. I'm gonna give you the DJs and you come with the rappers. The DJs. Red, red, red alert. Wait 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 wait. I don't, no, no, I don't want. I'm gonna give you the DJs for the Cold Crush Brothers was um, DJ Tony Tone, DJ Charlie Chase. You got me. Now you give got, me the rappers. I, I, you give got me the rappers. Me. It wasn't. You don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't Melly Mel, was it? No, it was uh, Grandmaster Kaz, um, JDL. Almighty KG, and who's the fourth one? Um, Almighty KG, and Easy AD. Easy AD, Almighty KG, Grandmaster Ding, ding, Cassie, ding, 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 he up to nothing, man. You no, but, fucking up. No, 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 but let, let me be fair. That's my favorite group of all time. So you can't be doing that, this man. shit. You ain't winning. Come on, you got to come with a question, man. Oh, shit. What's the name of the group that's had a song called Kick the Ball? Kick the Ball? Who that? Who is it? Who is it? Don't don't fuck up. You ready to be tapped out? I give I give you I give you wait 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 time. I I give, I give you a sh- you want me to give you another hint? Yeah. Camden, New Jersey. Uh, no, I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna know. Crown, ding, 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 Crown rulers. Crown rulers. Uh, uh, kick the ball. Know. Who do you, you think you are? Uh, kick the ball, yeah, yeah. ball, ball. How you yeah. remember that? It's I don't like remember. Who do you so think you are? Uh, yeah, you don't know nothing well, about this shit. Well, give me a year on that. Because I don't want to. I don't want to not get any history. It's two to one. It's two to one. Okay, it's two to one. What you doing? Come on. I don't know now. See now, you threw me off with that. I could go again. Come on. Wait, wait. No, no, he got to go. Come on. You up two one. Let's go. Steady B's first record on pop art. You want to go steady with me? I mm. mean, I, mm. I just tried to no, try. No, that's, that's the name of the song. Do you steady with me, right? Do you want to go steady with me, right? I, yeah. I think it was Shout, the the the, the remake of, of of Shout on Pop Art. I think that's the first. You, is you talking about the album or are you talking I, about C B? Like what you I said, nah, single, nigga, single. Damn. Single. A single. Mm. I think it's Shout. I think that's one I what, I, I think who, who was it? I think it was his first. Damn. I think it was Shout. Who was it? It was in. The, I want. I'll tell you when it was. I think it was eighty six, eighty seven. Who you say it was? I don't know. None I think of this it was. Shit. I think uh, uh, Craig G. No, Steady B had a song off. A, it was called. It was off a shout. Hold on, that I might not be sure the full right. single though. No, you done. It's called. It's called. Uh, no, hold up, hold up. Mammer is not. Hold up. Make sure Steady B Wikipedia. Google the song in the air. Pop art. It was in pop art. Was it called Shout? I'm trying to look for the name of the song. Oh, they just got his conviction and all. Let me see. Damn, they got all that fucking. I think I got my title right. So y'all, so y'all don't know. No, that that you, it's, you, you it's not two for sure. One. It's not for sure. Um, two for one. Join sure. you. No, no, no. The two to two. Two. Two to two. two, two. Oh, I gotta go again. I gotta go again. You didn't know either. So it's two to one. Oh, that don't even count. You. The fuck is he? Fuck is he? I ain't cheating for you. Try to get my name. No, because you said you was a story and bitch. No, he is though. He is though. Listen, I seen this segment. Come on. I'm gonna concede now. I'll get No, no, no. Who's saying this? Honey dips in Gotham. That's a. F- I don't. I don't know it. I don't know. I swear to God, I don't know. Boogie Monsters. Oh, we don't know nothing about the no, Boogie Monsters. No, but tell me, tell me what year is that? You gotta give. You gotta give explanations. Is it the nineties? Where they from? Where they from? I think they from New York. The Boogie Monsters. Two, two. You're probably right. You're probably Just gonna right. break the tie right here. I'm not ready. Yo, you going? No, nah, that's not fair, man. No, no, I'm showing you. I'm showing you. Oh, I thought you was looking up questions. That's not no, my I'm phone is closed. No, no, no. He's showing you the boogie monsters, man. That's all. He's showing it mad long, man. He's been in that phone a long time. Uh-huh. Where they from? I don't know. Look. Yeah, honey dips in Gotham. No, I wouldn't have got it, man. I wouldn't have got it. So, yeah, I don't know that. Was it a big record? What year? How do you know this song? Yeah, he's a weirdo. But listen, let's I break the tie. Who's going to ask the question to break me. the tie? I let him ask. Who sang Living Proof? 
New York. Group home? You got me. Damn, mm. he fucked you up. You, you was embarrassing, man. Nah, ding, that's all. I'm going to tell you what he's doing, Funk too. Flex, I, nah, man. I'm not going to give up his secret. Flex, he goes two, three singles in to the single you ain't even thinking about or from an artist. You was thinking so, about... You was thinking about you, most people think about the first one. Yeah, uh, Superstar. That's that's the one everyone knows. But, 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 okay. Okay, so Flex. I don't know if I got a question to stump him. Let's get into this. Tell us a little bit. Oh, uh, did I win? Yeah, you won. You won that shit. So why y'all rolling over my shit like that and I won? Yeah, why you do that to me, bro? Yo, you was gonna roll over me? Because that nigga's disappointing, man. Wait, am I the first one to beat you? Yes, you are. Oh, come on, man. Oh, Hello, man. Nobody hit the other way. Can I text you? Can I text you? Hit anyone. Anyone else. You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of game. And it's just like Gilly, you Stories gonna from the shit. cell. Yo, he was gonna roll over me. He was gonna roll over me. Okay, listen, because, he was supposed to pick me up. No, well, no, goddamn, no, no, because because this pussy lost, man. It's Yo, he was. Wait, I think you was rolling How over me too, Gilly. Inviting motherfuckers to the joint and you losing. Gilly, you was going with the next question no, too. I was because I, I just had to. I just had to try to hey, get the shit cousin, rolling. Man. You hear me? That's his cousin. Nigga just, made, nigga just made us look bad. Man. <laughs> that was a good question, my nigga. I know it. Listen, what that fuck good you answered Story from it. the booth. What, what is the story from the booth, man? You was in that. Uh, yes, sir. I'm talking about for the artist that we at least suspect. Like, what is what is it? What is a wild story, man? Give no, us wild. One. You know what, man? See, when you get to a specific thing, it's difficult. A show oh. backstage from the booth, man. I don't. Uh... Nigga, you been in there with Hove. You done been in there with some niggas. You done seen some niggas in action, man. I don't want to even tell the story. Tell it. Uh, King's son. They don't know who King's son is. And Ice on, Cube. No, or, oh, Ice but, but still, they don't know who King's son is, though. Give me, Let me give you some background on King's son. King's son is a talented rapper. Uh, made his bones in the 80s. But they, they want to hear about some, something newer. Ah, uh, right? something newer. Something, yeah, something newer man, about a situation. I mean, those are the ones that I know. I mean, there's not too many... You don't want to tell. You scared Let now. me ask you a question, though. Hey, I'm shit, trying to think, but you gotta remember hey, when you ask me the question, I'm thinking that of shit it. don't lie about him not going to the Rock Nation lunch. That shit shook him up. Yeah, that shit shook him up. I'm listen, going with y'all. No, the fuck you, you ain't getting in the man. fuck with us. No, why not? Yo, we already got the, got the call. Get on with us. We got the call. We can't take. He it. said I cannot come. No, no, I'm not telling you who said whatever. I'm, like, I'm saying out of Hove but was I will like, say this. Hove was like, he really don't care. And then Blue Ivy was like, uh-uh. Who's that? Who's and, Be- oh, and Beyonce yeah, yeah, was like, yeah, 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 fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. no, he ain't coming. So I'm going to ask you a real I was question. like, all right, cool. Yes, sir, my brother. He ain't coming I'm here with, with you. Us. You went and got on the table. You got under the knife. Yes, yeah. yes, lipo. And so, t- so, so it's a lot of guys out here trying to figure out, like, why? No, but Ed- no, Ed- he was telling us the story. Um, he was telling us the story about how um, oh, yeah. Drake and LL influenced him. I didn't like, say that. Shoot, uh, nigga. Hold up, hold up, hold nigga. up. Nigga. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let me, let me, let, let's clarify that. I do believe celebrities, artists, I believe that. They've gotten surgery. Oh, my fault. I didn't know that shit upstairs was a secret. No, you it was a secret. No, no, no. Wait, wait. I, but, no, no. My fault. I'll he tell didn't you. say wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. He didn't Not say influence. that. Not influence. Wait. <laughs> All right, look. I'm going to put it out there. And I'm going to tell you what I think. You want to look you like LL, my, no, nigga. No, you want to give my opinion? You, you want me to give you my opinion? Look at Chef. You said you want to look no. like LL. You want to no, be no, Lady no, no, Love no. Funk I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, First, I'm going to give you everybody that I think it is. But I want to first speak for myself because I don't want to like kind of just out, you know, I'm a person, you know, if I feel something, I operate for me. When I say me, meaning it's something that I wanted to do. Um, I'm a guy, I'm, I'm Jamaican, I'm West Indian. And if you know Jamaican, West Indian culture, and I don't know if anybody isn't here, you know, you do what you feel. Nobody really, you don't really take mind to what people say about you because it's really about feeling good about yourself. So in me saying anything or anyone, I want to first say that I have had lipo, you know, and I dieted for a long time. I was 290. I got, my highest has ever been 290. Maybe 98, 2000, 2001. I may have brought it down to 245 at first. And maybe I came to 220. And I was getting in that 210. Right? Bouncing back and forth. But I had like these pockets under my arms. And and just places that, you know, it just wouldn't. 
like remove. And uh, yes, yeah, some people say uh, go to the gym harder. And I, God bless the guys who go to the gym. I have a total amount of respect for you. I don't know how you're going to the gym in COVID with it closed, but I'm I'm still with you. Okay, the but, gym could be your house. Yeah, correct. But you know what I'm saying? Like the the gym, I the gym guys all respect due to the people who are dedicated. It's what I wanted to do. So in saying that, um, I went public with it just because I thought everyone did. Now, I can't say I seen, but I could say, you know, I did. Uh, and to my knowledge, like Drake and Kanye and LL and, and, and people like that, that that's what they were doing. When I, when, when I called... And uh, I got in touch with the guy who, who who did it for me. I was recommended because current current football players and current boxers go to him. Football players going to get a fucking light bulb? Well, oh man. shit, he goes no, no, no. But but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm gonna tell <laughs> Take you. Take my titties well, away. I'm gonna tell you what it is. For Take every, Tony. No, no. Tits. For everybody, it's a different reason. Some hey, you still mad about how niggas uh, roasted your ass last week, huh? Yeah, yeah. But I ain't got titties. Go ahead. What you say? I ain't got titties. Some either, some, some people just want a little bit removed. Some people want a lot. Regardless, was, scared? was I scared? Well, it's a process that they don't put you to sleep. It's a it's it's a newer process. They ain't you don't put go you to sleep. sleep. No, there was no. I didn't go. I was up. I was up the whole time. Shout to Doctor. Doc, was it Doctor Perkins? He was my guy. Yeah, you're up, you're up the whole time. I, I'm not like I'm a full believer to each their own. You know that that's me. You I know? mean, absolute man. I mean, you look good, dog. I appreciate it, my you brother. I mean, you look good, brother. I got my little. Uh, I got my still got my little thing on because oh, I'm sore. Oh, you got your little fubu on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still got room because you got to be. It takes like four months to be okay. Mm. Okay, so you still you can still pass out or some shit. We need it. <laughs> Outside, <laughs> outside. Listen, listen. You said I know upstairs. <laughs> let, let me ask. You, I, I just want. I would just want your opinion. Yes, sir, my brother. And I'm not saying this to nobody. Is radio dead? Um, I tell you, it is dead. Um, I'm gonna give a good description of radio. If you're a guy who got a couple slick words, and you want to go on the radio, no one's gonna care about you. If you, um, you, I'm going to give a good radio lesson that you can also apply to just being a personality or rapper DJ. You have to have your social media cracking. Mm. And when I say cracking, know what you want to be. You have to have your social happening. You got to be out with the people. If you're a DJ or you're a rapper, you know, you got to, I don't want to say talented, but you definitely got to be persistent you have to you have to push your craft. Whatever you believe in, you have to push it. If you really believe in it, then you push it. Now, if you're just a person sitting there intro and records, radio is dead for you. If, if to the rappers that say, you know, the up and coming rappers, they're like, fuck a DJ. I don't need no fucking DJ. Uh, radio station. I, gotta, I can use the internet. I don't need y'all. I agree. I agree. I think that they just need the internet. I think the the internet and um the digital space and everything else will serve its purpose for them, but radio makes superstars. If you do not, if there is a cap in in the uh, Apple, Spotify, title space where you can go, look like NBA Young Boy is a perfect example. He is a YouTube phenomenon. Um, but there's a lot of people in the everyday world that doesn't know who he is, you know? But if you can get both, if you can be cold and come out of there and get a couple number ones, you know, you, you, you're, you're, you could be a very big artist, you know, you're going to tour, you're going to, you're going to, you know, a lot of things is, is going to happen for you. Unfortunately, if you're a rapper and you only have radio Expect there to be a halt in your career at some point quicker. And if you only have the digital space, expect to have a halt in your career at some time too. The two together are the perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect match. And Incredible. It's, 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 it's undeniable, my brother. But for the up and coming artists, I don't think radio serves a big purpose for them. There's nothing stronger than building your YouTube page 
and harnessing your your fans someplace where you can serve them your music. Mm -hmm. Whatever platform, too, that is for you. I like YouTube, yeah, but, you know, if it's your Instagram, or look at the baby. Mm -hmm. To me, the baby breaks every one of his songs off his Instagram page. I always knew, I always know what's new with the baby from his Instagram page. If he's in his car, he's mouthing those words for 60 seconds, I know what's the new, the baby record. All right. And I don't know if I've seen someone have recently doing it that way. I mean, I commend a lot of people. You know, it went from stages. Remember, Lil Wayne was a tapes dropping. Oh, my God. Lil Wayne tapes dropping. Mm -hmm. There was always one or two records that went off the tape that the label would pick up. YouTube has replaced the mixtape. SoundCloud, all those things, they've replaced the mixtape. What, what what is it about? Because I see you doing records and shooting fucking videos like they, like they like they Instagram a motherfucking like like the Instagram post. You just been shooting. What is the importance of getting them fucking music out? And what is the importance of when something hot, let it stay hot. Don't pull back and try to put a strategy around it. Mm. Is, is it important? Let it, go. let it let that shit the fuck go. Because I be seeing moments that people will have when shit get hot, and then some smart people at the label or whatever say, "Oh, stop it." Pull it back. Let's mm -hmm. hold on to it. Let's strategize when the people already got it and they, they already you got it. You can't. It's not, Why it's do impossible. people do that? Um, well, for me, right? And I hope I'm, I don't want to... See, I almost need Gilly to promise something that he's... Because, you know, I'll, I'll say a certain artist's name and he might interject. So, uh, the, the, let me... I'm gonna feel, look, look at his eyes. His eyes already mm -hmm. opened up. Boy. Um... I made a conscious decision, no disrespect, but I made a conscious decision that when I decided, oh, shout to Orlando, shout to Shaft, shout to Gabby, shout to Joe I.E. When, I, when they convinced me. My to, man Orlando, that's my brother. I like him a lot. Atlantic Records, always, my man Always Orlando. ahead of the curve. He's, he's always on point, always gave well, me game. Orlando was that guy. Free of charge. Yes. Right, right. Yes. So. So I made a conscious decision to not, to, de to, to, I wanted to work with artists that had been out for the last year and a half, maybe just came out the last year and a half, except Jadakiss because you guys inspired that. And they taught me so much, even from constructing a record. Flex, it got to be two minutes. no. The hook is there, Flex C. And then I would say mm. things like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'd get on that page, but I'd be like, hey, I definitely need a little bit more bars there. That second verse got to raise up a little bit energy, which Shaft taught me, right? He said that second verse. I'm, I'm, I'm a 16 guy. Shaft always teaches me to put the second, to put it in another, at maybe eight if we have to, but put it. But I got a couple records at 16, one, eight bars the, sec the next. And... <laughs> I I just learned so much, and I hope if you're a rapper, 34, 32, 34, 35, 36, I'm going to tell you, only if you're struggling, if you're struggling right now, I'm going to tell you something you did wrong. All of these young bucks that have been out for the last year called all of you guys for features, and you wanted to charge them 100 grand, 200 grand, 300 grand. Shout my lion. They, they, now, I understand the whole charging thing, but sometimes you charge and miss a moment. You know, sometimes it's just a great record, and sometimes that youngin' is your fan. Sometimes he's just a fan of yours. And sometimes I think it's a, it's a, it's a tight line because guess what? I, I don't want to, because because rappers are so fucking sensitive. I don't want to say anyone's name. Cause, ah, oh, when did you start giving a fuck? Oh, now all of a sudden no. you give a fuck. I know you got the call from Hove. No, that's it, sensitive. That's but, what but wait, wait, wait. <laughs> In being, it's sensitive. I don't want to say his name, but here, this is what it is. You can't. The, there's always a next generation of rappers, and for you, thirty-five year up, you're aging fast because. You didn't keep track of the digital space. You didn't keep track of the streaming world. And you didn't stay on top of those artists that do stream to learn, to give game, and to learn. 
You guys always wanted to preach and say what it is and think you can dictate. And those days, those days are over. You know why? Because you, 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 it just doesn't work. So that's, for me, I just do notice a difference of the 20-year-old and the 35-year-old. Like, there's just, there's the 25 and the 35, it's just a different mentality, man. They're putting out, every artist we joke about, and every artist we may say, he doesn't belong here. Or whatever. You ever notice the one, a lot of those that we're mentioning aren't putting out enough music for us to even say by clear cut, like, hey, he still got it. They're not. They're not, they're not putting out enough music. If you want to make an album once a year, your career's finished. You will not keep up with these kids. The music has become a little bit more um, disposable. Right, it's like I mean to be to be honest, like anything. Do you do do you do you believe that there's a big, massive, unloyal fan base out here that just fucks with the moment? They're unloyal. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about they're unloyal. Unloyal. Whereas though they don't fuck with the 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 the, the artist, they might fuck with the moment. Um, more than the. I think there's some artists that have. I think there's some artists that have great fan bases. I think there's some that have different. I think some don't overlap, but. I think there's some people. And look, if you're a boring cornball, like super boring, you're, you're you're just boring. Only your record is there to speak for you. You know, unfortunately and fortunately, because I don't want to say this is a bad thing. I do not think there's anything wrong that a kid has to go and like what you do every day to like your music. I don't think it's a bad thing. You don't want to know why. A lot of the artists of the past hid that from us. And gave us fake mystiques. You know, like, like at least they're giving you the truth. They're giving you them. If you want to buy into them, yes. And if you do not want to, no. I mean, how many... I'll be honest. I, I go back to the baby. A Cardi B. Like, I, I like those people's social media first. Mm-hmm. And it made because me they show like you them. who they are. Yeah, and then it made me like... And then, and, but even as even as growing up, when you when you heard rappers, you 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 like the thing is when we was growing up, the rappers you knew what they was by how they identified them. So we knew Jay Z was a hustler. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Per se. We knew DMX was a grimy nigga. We knew. Street nigga too, like you right, know, right? A grimy nigga, robbery, you robbery guy. Saying? You know he's doing robberies. You right. know what he was doing that when he was right. young. So, so we, you, it's, it's not necessarily even doing it. I'm just saying the image that they was putting out there. Now it's like these youngers don't have no image. They just crazy. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> well, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like not saying all of them. See, I really not did, saying all of them. I really say you got, you got, you got, you got young niggas like little baby. He got an image. You got niggas like. Uh, I get like fly, fly uh, uh, image from him. He like, you I'm, know. I'm kind of, you know, hustler type of fly, right? Okay, cool. You got, but then you got a gang of motherfuckers and you like Lil Xan. Like, what the fuck is, like, Lil Pump. You know, um, like, you know what his, type of new rappers I don't like? He just shout out. He I, just scream out shit. Let's get it. Like, I'll tell you, you know, what new rap I don't like and, and people should watch, beware of. I don't like a rapper that gets hot and takes off all his pictures of his come up. I don't like that. I want to see your come up. Right. I, I think your come up is important. Absolutely. I got a son. He's he, he's young. I want him to see your come up. Right. I want him to see your struggle, and I want him to see your success. And some rappers don't do it. No. I mean, I, I if I remember, I'm, I'm just off the top of the head, like Young M.A., I remember her having you know, like a lot of her her, her early pictures on a gram because i like that i like seeing i like seeing what a person does i like seeing their way of doing it so i do some put on for the situation but then some i mean you know what's a good example i'm trying to think of somebody who's you know you got a Khaled. I'm going to put Jay-Z in that category. I'm going to put, you know, these people are successful well into the later part of their lives. 
And how they are doing that is understanding the youth. Like, to me, I mean, and it just gets You really me. trying to clear that Jay-Z shit. No, 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 no. I'm just, I swear, no, I'm giving you because we got to get people You're who not want. going to the brunch. We already got <laughs> the call. We got the call. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're listen. not at the brunch. That, listen, but I'm saying for the... Uh, the youngins, man, sometimes you don't like... You know what? Take the volume off. Of I can look at a crowd that just party to a DMX record and that party to something new. And you, you turn the volume off on both, but you just have visual. It's the same energy. It's how that touches this era is how that touched that era. So with the volume off, they are still carrying the torch. Of what we yeah, came up on, absolutely. It's just a, it's just a different torch. Yeah. And and look, and we don't not we embrace the youngins. No, you got to do. We but start I, off with Rocky. We a lot of people, a lot so of people with, don't. A no, lot of do. uh, and, and 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 a lot of people don't. And even in the podcast space, people like you, people like Nori, um, Buttons, and everybody, you guys are in tune to what happened yesterday, musically and subjects. That is where the game is. And will continue. And I always tell people, man, if you're waiting for another biggie, it's just, it's just, you know, boom bap, and that yeah. that it's just not going yeah. to rise back it's on not. top right now. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. You you missed the one hundred, right? You yeah. Oh man, why you why you set me up like that? Because some people <laughs> need to know. I I got a couple hundred. Have stories. you ever? Have you ever? Because mm-hmm. that's a major thing in the industry. Have you ever went through went through it with somebody over one of these women? Mm-hmm. Um, you ever, you know, have you ever slept with somebody, girl? You ever? I don't. I ain't saying well, it like that, but like, have you ever had a beef with somebody that they probably don't was, lie? Because I know fun with. Don't lie, because yeah, I you know. know these niggas is messy I know. over here. Uh, no, you exactly. don't lie, because yeah, I know it's messy over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I'll tell you something. No, like, because you know people be having beef. Y'all might, you know what I mean? No, I ain't you black boss no, 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 no. I've never had a situation. Well, it's, it wasn't a situation, and a lot of people don't know. But my wife, who's my ex-wife, but I have two children with. Mm-hmm. Um, she uh, dated Clark Kent first, like Clark Kent when she was with Clark Kent, and. I met her after. Was he no, she dated. He, no, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't like I didn't take anything from anybody. <laughs> so I ain't taking anything from no, anybody. No, 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 no. I didn't, no, no, no. I mean, he. Um, they were, I think, a couple. Um, Politically correct today yeah. too. <laughs> you, you've been cleaning shit it. like a motherfucker. <laughs> he got that call from Hope. <laughs> you've been cleaning shit today, yo. <laughs> yo. <I'm- laughs> He got that fucking call. No wait, listen. See what happened when you play listen, with Hope. Listen, listen, listen. Clark Kent. But who is I always like every time we mention a name, you know, so I like to give flowers, right? Because I'd also like to clear up a Kid Capri situation while we're here. Mm. So Clark Kent is an amazing DJ. He's a DJ that I've seen do things in a club that I think think can be done. And sometimes I know everybody knows him as Sneaker God. Yes. But before Sneaker God, he was DJ God. And his ability to read a room, because that's the first guy I really saw take it as a competition with the DJ before him mm-hmm. that he wanted to do as good or better. And I studied that quality from him. Um, not because he was dating my wife or nothing, but I, I'm just saying. <laughs> <no. laughs> hey, yo. yo. <laughs> but, oh, let me just ask you this. Yeah. Was you DJing before you found out he was blazing your wife? Well, it depends. He was no. Was you not, DJ? Not, I wasn't big. I was. He you was big no, first. But, but you wasn't he was DJ. Big first. But you wasn't DJ. I was not. And did yeah, that DJ? Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. A D, look how this shit work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look how this shit. A DJ was blazing his motherfucking bitch. That, that I wanted to get with. He is in it like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, wait, 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 wait. He was with. She was with him first, though. And so, so I, it, it's 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 homage. You know, niggas used to. Scratch Yo, you know why it was bad for me when I was young? Because she was from my neighborhood. And he was blazing on her. And he was from Brooklyn. He was blazing on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you was looking at him walk out. I never saw him. 
He, because he was he was on tour because he, he was Superman. He was Clark Kent. <laughs> <this day. laughs> yeah, he plays your bitch throw a yo, cape on fly out the window. <laughs> he was busy. He was he was busy, and then when he you know they were friends. They were friends, and they they were having a relationship. I can't oh, wait after real, though. though. I can't wait because Clark Kent was that nigga. Yeah, he was hot. He was that hot. made you want him more. Then you was like, I'm getting that bitch. Yeah, I had to have him. I ain't gonna oh lie. I was gonna give up at that time. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. <laughs> to keep it a thousand at that time. It was a trophy when you got. I got Clark, old bitch. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, I got nigga. respect for him. I got respect. I'm just saying, but just I, that's him. how niggas be. Yeah, I got Clark Kent, old bitch. Yeah, you was nah, on the way listen. up to. You was on the way up to. I'm gonna tell you something. We gonna talk. Like, he, know that. Like, he says about relationships. Let me tell you something. When you're young and you're twenty, you're eighteen to twenty. It's about what you could bang and touch. When you get to my age. You're grateful for happiness. Happiness is important because you can have something that you never had, but you ain't happy. And I, I, Maria, how are you, Maria? Thank you for making me. Happy. Maria. Yeah, that's why I said be clear. But I'm just saying. So I, I never told you. Shout out to Maria, man. But you know, me and Clark, we've never really talked about. He doesn't. We don't really he talk. Don't, he didn't know he was blazing your bitch, man. So well, wait, just like me, can't know he was blazing his bitch. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, let me correct it for. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't. Bla- wait, 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 wait. I wasn't blazing his. He wasn't blazing. His. It was. It was no, his no, girl no, no, he bla- at the time. It was his. It was okay. his girlfriend. And then well, I was, was trying to. I was trying to court her. I was trying to court her. You couldn't get her till Clark was done with her. No, he no, said no. you can't get her till I ain't with her, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> and you better work hard and become a better DJ, nigga, or else. Right. Shout hey. to him, man. Well, let's oh, get, let's wait, get this. Can I clear up the kick and break? Can yes, I clear go. it up? I want to tell you something. And once again, we we with flowers. Um, Kid Capri is one my one of my top DJs favorites. Um, watching him in that nightclub and on that television was very inspirational. Because I love people's passion that turns into money. And if there's anything I could share, is the biggest advice is passion will turn into money. I promise anyone out there, passion will turn into money. And I know we had, me and him had an under, a misunderstanding. What, what about what? I don't remember. Look at Gilly. Gilly gives you that look because he what wants you, to see what you. Your, had, what you had he wants to see Capri. your body language and your eyes and how they move. What, what, what problem you had with the great kid Capri, man? No, no, no. We, you always are starting with niggas, man. No, DJ no, 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 Clue, no, 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 no. Jay Z, <laughs> Fabulous, hey, hey, no. fucking Jada Kiss. Who else he started with? I did not. Everybody. Damn flex. Well, well, we, we, no, we had a misunderstanding <laughs> where our communication wasn't well, and our communication is great now. We're on a good path. We're in a good place. So shout to him. He's just definitely somebody legendary that I respect. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to you. I'm, I respect you. I'm just giving you opinions if you ask me a question. If you okay. ask me a question, I give opinions. That's okay. all. Well, listen, man. We appreciate you for coming I appreciate down. you for having me. Hey, man. You, man. We, 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 talk we get enough album talk, right? right? What? Look, 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 look. Oh, oh hold, yeah, hold on, hold on. Tone, you want to shout out Rona Proof, man? Yeah, Let yeah, know yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, what I've been teaching people is how they can actually get uh, started flipping real estate contracts from okay. home. So uh, I got a program called Rona Proof, and this is a virtual wholesale training. So for the people that's trying to figure out ways to make money during the pandemic, you literally can flip real estate contracts and you don't need a real estate license. You don't need credit or experience. I do a training uh, that I'm, I launch every Which Sunday. Which I saw on Instagram. I know you told me. You like you I seen saw it. it. I saw uh, it. Every Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I give you a step-by-step, 10-step system how you can get started. So for all my inexperienced people, people that's looking to uh, make money from home, uh, RonaProof.com. You can get Rona started. Proof. And, a, and another thing, I want to give you all a little gem because people always ask me for free tips and free strategies that they can do right now. So for people that's trying to figure out how they can actually get in the real estate game, I got data, right? So data is the king of the, of the whole real estate stuff, finding the people that actually had the properties, right? So uh, there's a, a website that you can go to. And this, on the website, you can find uh, vacant properties, pre-foreclosure properties, uh, properties that have like uh, tax liens, uh, so these are all great opportunities. Where can they go for that? Uh, closersdata.com. C-L-O-S-E-R-S-D-A-T-A.com. Closersdata.com. On that website, it literally, you can take a seven-day free trial. So you can just try it out for free. You only have to pull money out your pocket. You can literally go on any city in the country, all over the United States of America. You can go in and you can find these properties that are uh, pre-foreclosure, tax liens, uh, 
uh, any type of distressed property, vacant property. And all you got to do is after you get those people is you want to just send them a text message. Say, hey, look, I'd be interested in uh, offering you uh, a cash offer on your property. After you do that, all we got to simply do is use that same website and now market the, the properties that we get on the contract to the cash buyers. That website literally has all the cash buyers and everything. So you can literally get a deal on the contract, sell your contract without having to meet the seller or the buyer. Do it all from your home. So uh, RonaProof.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. And then ClosersData.com is where you can go and get the free seven-day free trial. Absolutely. Hey, man, before you get out of here, man. Yes, sir. That album. Guy. That album. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm, I'm keeping it singles for a moment. Eventually, it's going to be an okay. album. My first single, of course, rest in peace, was with King Vaughn. I love the interview man. you guys did with him. Thank you, man. Um, and P and B Rock was here that day, right? Yeah. And um, uh, King Vaughn. Then I dropped uh, Five Year Foreign, of mm-hmm. course. Uh, I got one with CJ coming up. Rowdy Rebel, of course, that dropped. And I mean, I got the baby, little baby, mm. Post Malone. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Polo G Jadakiss uh, Jadakiss is on there mm. Thanks to you guys I appreciate mm. it Fabio Foreign I mean We gotta get fabulous On the next one man <laughs> Yes we're gonna get fabulous On the next one Absolutely We're gonna track for him You, yeah. you wanna apologize To fabulous man I didn't do I didn't do nothing to fa- You, you questioned me On whether or not He was top 10 That's how we had The car well, We're not gonna keep Going with this yeah. Wait do you, wait, did you know that I didn't know he was the same person? When he s- fucked this bitch, yeah. No, I saw that episode, yeah. right? But he's always been in my feed, my my Instagram feed for the real estate. Right. Yeah. So I'm not putting the two people together. Well, yeah, because yeah, all this nigga do is put all this smut on my motherfucking name with this dumb shit. Like, yeah. like, like Meek the only real fucking estate. Thing. You know, that's a, legend, you know <laughs> that's a legendary show when y'all talked about him and me. It's legend. Because Meek bought real estate in this bitch buns. I put, I put real estate in a lot of niggas' bitches. So it's all good. Right. 